Craig. Dollar Connie. Thank you very much. I, uh, I, uh, I like to start the show with a, an interesting story. <laughs> And uh, I, I have a story for you that I've never told anyone else before, and it's, uh, it doesn't put me in a very flattering light, but oh. who cares? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's uh, high school, going back to my days in high school, and I was in the class of 65 at Broad Ripple High School, and... <laughs> man recognizing numbers he's heard before. Well, that's good. <laughs> um, and uh, there was some sort of uh, end of the school year, graduating seniors only convocation. And so we were all dismissed early from our class, and we were going to go down to the uh, auditorium for the uh, graduating seniors end of the year convocation. Right. So we're all down there, and because uh, uh, I was a dope that no one liked, and <clears throat> I was always trying to call attention to myself, and I had a very small uh, peer group, uh, and they weren't even crazy about me. Uh, uh, so it, it was a constant struggle, and I don't feel I was alone in that. I think that describes a lot of people in high school. Mm. You, you want to be recognized, you want people to like you, but they don't. Um, uh, so I had uh, with me a, a smoke bomb, a tiny smoke bomb about that big. Oh, boy. And uh, we're all standing around getting ready to go into the uh, convocation, uh, end of the year graduating senior smoke bomb, I mean convocation. <laughs> And, and, uh, and I lit the smoke bomb, and, and I had a hole in my pocket and, and dropped it through my pants onto the floor, Ooh. thinking... <laughs> I, I mean, is that as slick as it's going to get in the world of smoke bomb? <laughs> and it wasn't a very large smoke bomb, and, 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 and pretty soon uh, it was like a lame special effect. It was like, I don't know, th three cubic yards of dry ice, just yeah. kind of... And, and, you know, and my pant leg was on fire, mm. so... <laughs> Uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't hard to tell who had dropped the smoke bomb. Right. <laughs> and I remember uh, thinking I had gotten away with it, and then uh, the next day after the uh, graduating uh, convocation, uh, Robert Ludlow, uh, uh, the teacher who was the history teacher and also the driver's ed teacher, called me up to his office, and he said, uh, uh, I know you think that was funny, dropping that smoke bomb. Uh, I saw you do it. I know you did it. And let me just say one thing. I will never recommend you for a job as long as I live. Well, that's a cute story. <laughs> <laughs> that really is. Do we have him here? Is he here tonight? <laughs> Let's bring him out now. <laughs> Dave, we have a surprise for you. No, no. I wish we did. <laughs> and, 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 and of course, he's right. I mean, who was right? Was it uh, young punk d dope Dave? No, 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 I was completely in the wrong, doing something to, oh, everybody will think I'm cool. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, or, or was Robert Ludlow, a history driver's ed teacher, right? I think. He, of course, uh, was right. Yeah. And, and I believe he was also the golf coach. Oh. So he was absolutely r right. And, and, and as a matter of fact, when CBS uh, wanted to hire me away from NBC, they said, uh, geez, we got this uh, call from Robert Ludlow. Robert Ludlow. <laughs> wow. said, you're, so you're not going to get the yeah. gig. You're not going to get the gig. And, and, I, and I tell you, some nights when I'm having trouble going to sleep, I think about that and think about that and think about that. And what a dope I was. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I mean, the, the, the truth of it is, it was a small device, but it could have been one of those things where, run for your lives! It could, yeah. E and you don't want that, no, of course. No, you don't, and no. you never know. No, you never yeah. do know. Mm -hmm. So Robert Ludlow. Yeah, Bob Ludlow. Uh -huh. Big Bob Ludlow. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? Speaking of crime, that... Uh, were you Remember? charged? Were you charged? No, with a no, they were no, charged they were with a crime. No, they were no. Are you out on bail still? No, I'm not. No, uh, the crooked NBA. All right, here, I have a copy of the 1965 Broader Pole High you School. Got it. This yeah, is, the Riparian. This is your re Riparian, so named because the uh, the high school is still there and a beautiful structure uh, and, a, and a high quality school in the Indianapolis public school system uh, sits right on the the banks of the White River. Yeah. Hence, uh, Riparian. Yes, that's the name of the thing here. And we found uh, uh, Mr. Robert Ludlow, Bob. Let's see what we can see. Is he in there? Should be him right here. See it for. It's Bob Ludlow right here, I believe. Let me see that cat. Yeah. Yes. There is Robert Ludlow. Now, oh, look. 
Let's see what he... Uh... Robert BSMS, Robert. Butler University, great college, social yeah. studies, assistant wrestling coach, assistant track coach, uh, Letterman's Club sponsor, a senior class sponsor, senior counselor, uh, cadet teacher sponsor. That's uh, Bob Ludlow right there. Look at how young he, he I looks. know. He was probably only about 21. Right. And you... He was actually younger than many of the students. <laughs> he was. Yeah. People yeah. that got held yeah. back and, and such. And he's, he's the reason I never got a decent job. Apparently so. <laughs> he wouldn't recommend but, you. You know, God bless guys like this. Yeah. Keeping law and order, and he did the right thing. He called it to my attention, pointed out the mistake, and he behaved uh, in, in, a, in an appropriate way so as not to really... You know, he could have sent me to jail. I could be in prison now. He could, right, yes. yeah. So hats, well, he, off, hats off to the man. Hats off to Ludlow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bob Ludlow. Are you in there? <laughs> no. I'm oh. Not, no. Well, of course I'm in here. Well, are you, can we see a picture of you? Well, maybe. I, it's just that... All right. Yeah, I'd like to see that you're in the front. really wasn't that active. The only thing I did really was drop the smoke bomb. Yeah. Terrible. Let's see, I'll get this in a minute. Would it be under the L's? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Oh, here, here we go. Look, look at this, this guy. David Michael Letterman, basketball freshman, reserve, second year, track freshman, reserve, two, uh, hall monitor. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a sad life, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll be right back with uh, Kumail uh, Nanciani, ladies and gentlemen. Kumail Nanciani. Mariah Carey, yes. I'm told here on the phone, is uh, Mr. Robert Ludlow. Oh, no. Franklin, Indiana. Really? Yes, the man that uh, I was talking about, and yes. uh, he's 82 years old now. No kidding. Yeah, so let's just see what we have here. Hello, Mr. Ludlow? Yes, hello. Hi, hi, this is Dave Letterman. How are you? Well, just fine. I'm pretty excited to hear from you. Yes, it's it's nice to hear from you. You you sound well. I hope everything is good in your life. Yes, doing doing very well. How how long did you teach at uh, Broad Ripple High School? Uh, I was there about 14 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I wonder if your half mile times have gotten any better since you ran track for the Rockets. <laughs> Well, you, you know what? Uh, over the weekend, I was able to shave another tenth off my half mile. Well, I believe we can get you in some special Adidas track shoes then for a half mile. Uh, all right. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Mr. Ludlow, the reason I'm calling, I was uh, talking to the audience about something that I've thought about almost every day of my life, and it was uh, at, at the end of my senior year, and uh, you, you uh, watched me drop uh, thoughtlessly a smoke bomb in a, in a crowded part of the school, and, and you called me aside afterward, and, and you did what I thought was a very wise thing. You, you could have really had me taken downtown and interrogated by the police, but, but you decided the thing to do, uh, the better part of uh, uh, valor is discretion, if that in fact applies. You said that uh, going forward, because of that act, you would never be able to give me a, a reference for a job. And I thought that, I thought that possessed great wisdom because it's, it's something that I thought about and felt like, well, more than the act itself, I've let this man down and I had great respect for you. So I just wanted to tell you that and, and thank you for being much smarter uh, than a 17-year-old kid. Well, I think your record was very, very good at high school, at Broad Ripple High School, and uh, feel quite proud to know you. Thank you. And, and, now, and now going forward, if I ever do need a job, 
Could, could I count on a recommendation? I think we can work something out there, David. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Oh, Ludlow. That's beautiful. Well, I'm glad to get that off I'm my... I'm glad. I hope you feel better. Yeah, I do I'm feel sure better. You do.